It is the dream tour for millions of diehard Latin pop fans as Jenny, formerly of The Block, and screaming girl magnet Enrique Iglesias team up to embark on a big budget world tour together this summer. With Enrique pumping out a string of new hits, J-Lo fresh off her high profile judging gig on American Idol. They're already selling out shows and ABC's Amy Robach hung out backstage as they kicked off the tour. Enrique Iglesias and Jennifer Lopez have both transformed Latin pop over the past decade. Topping the charts with dozens of hits and amassing millions of adoring fans. Now they're joining forces for a highly anticipated world tour. Fresh off her announcement that she's walking away from American Idol, Lopez is ready to focus on her music once again. You know, I haven't performed enough and that's why people don't really know me as a live performer, but this is, this is my moment to really show what I can do and what I've always known I can do but haven't done. Nightline was invited to go behind the scenes in Montreal, Canada. So do you have a favorite outfit here? Just looking a through favorite a I, don't, I don't know if I can touch them, so I'll let you touch them. You can them. touch them. <laughs> this is where the power duo are gearing up for opening night. One, two, three. Let's let's go, let's go. Go. So this is the big stage, huh? There we go, Amy. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. This is where the nerves happen. I, really, were you nervous? You look uh, cool as a cucumber uh, last night. I mean, I get excited, I get nervous. Uh, I, I don't panic. No, don't right. let the last minute jitters fool you. With seven world tours under his belt and multiple appearances at this venue alone, playing to sold out crowds is old hat for Enrique and his team. The stakes are much higher for Enrique's co-headliner. World tour is one of the only accomplishments Lopez hasn't checked off her bucket list. Her new show takes fans on a journey through these various stages in her career. The show was just a depiction of who I am right now, and I wanted to just show all the different parts uh, of my personality and who my fans know me to be. Jenny you from know? the Block. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the Block. Jenny from the Block, <laughs> but they want the Hollywood glamour and they want, you know, the party Latin girl and they want, you know, that that passionate, you know, funky moment. You know, they expect all those things from me, and so I, that's what I tried to do. And throughout those stages of her life, she's had very public romances and breakups. From Ben Affleck to P. Diddy to her most recent divorce from Mark Anthony, the father of her four-year-old twins. But despite the heartbreak, J.Lo wants her fans to know that she's not giving up on love. It's hard sometimes, it's amazing sometimes, but it's not something that you could ever be without. Human beings need love to survive. Even though it doesn't work out sometimes, it does. You just, you just have to keep going. And that's the message in her new single, Dance Again. Which Enrique wrote for her around the time that she was reeling from her divorce. The idea of dancing again, of, of living again, of even just, you know, loving again, at that moment in my life felt so far-fetched, you know? Um, and I was just like, no, that belief for me can never die, because if that part of you dies, it's just like, what is life? J-Lo's co-star in this steamy video for Dance Again is former backup dancer Bo Casper Smart, her 25-year-old boyfriend. He's surprisingly composed as he tells us how he managed to land one of the most beautiful and powerful girlfriends in the entertainment business. It was just, it was just very, you know, natural how it happened. There was nothing beforehand. Mm -hmm. When it happened is when it actually happened. There was nothing before, no flirting, no nothing. Pictures of the two have made the rounds on gossip sites and tabloids for months, but Jennifer has been very private about the new man in her life. Are you open to talking about the new love of your life? No. <laughs> I'll talk about him. Okay. Uh, no, it's not. He's a good-looking man. Uh, yeah, he is. He's got I, a great I, smile. Yes, he does. Nice um, body, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She may be coy about their relationship in public, but as we quickly learned backstage, Casper rarely leaves her side. Don't forget that prep. Oh. She made him a choreographer and one of the main artistic forces behind her show. And backstage, moments before the opening night performance, it's Casper who escorts Jennifer to the nightly team prayer and steals this last intimate moment with the star before she takes the stage. I always ask her, I said, who's the champ? 
And she says, I am. I said, and I say, who's the champ? She says, I am. I said, okay, go kill it. Hello, lovers. While J-Lo's love life is on constant public display, her co-headliner has managed to keep his decade-long relationship with tennis star Anna Kornikova out of the tabloids and relatively drama-free. Enrique, you, uh, you've managed to keep your private life very private. Yes. What's your secret? What is your secret? I gotta go. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I, for me, it's extremely important to just keep it as private as possible. I just need it. I need it. I need. I need that balance in my life. I think relationships are tough. Period. Whether you're famous, whether you're not famous. So um, under the public eye, it, it's. I think that makes it even tougher. Something Jennifer has experienced firsthand. It's difficult in this business, being the woman that I am, doing the things that I do being in the spotlight, it can be difficult for anybody who has to stand by my side. But at the end of the day, I know that I deserve that. And I know that, that God knows that I deserve that. And I know it's gonna happen one day in the right way, in the best way. Everybody over here. It's that kind of tirelessly romantic hope that fuels the passion in her show and keeps fans coming back for more. I'm Amy Robach for Nightline in Montreal.